is uh, taking control of Pasco. It's evident by what's going on here tonight. Great crowd, great enthusiasm. Going to be a great fundraiser. The Republicans are going to be victorious like they always are in this county. I want to introduce our new chairman, Randy Maggot. to apologize. I did pray for the rain, but I didn't think it would come today, but we thank God for it. That's a fact. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honored guests tonight. I just want to thank you for coming for the Republican Pasco Reagan Day dinner. And uh, this is a big night. You can tell by the turnout. We appreciate what you've done. We appreciate by coming here tonight. It's showing about the parties united. Before we get started, i got a couple of people I want to uh, introduce and thank for all their hard work. Um, you're only as good as the people around you, and um, I don't get the credit they do. Vice Chairman John DiCicciano, where are you at, John? There he is. Thank you, John. He's got the gun, so he's a good guy. Uh, Secretary Jenny Orlando. Jenny, where are you at? Our reporting and press secretary, Lori Skinner. Lori, where are you at? There you go. And our money man, I can tell you, if anybody needs a manager of their money, hire Fred, because I've never had that hard of a job with anybody with Fred manager. Yeah, Fred. State committee man, Bill Bunny. Bill? The shy state committee woman, Lana O'Reilly, was the shy woman. And the guy I didn't think I'd ever talk to a lot that I talk to daily and mess with his tennis game, our general counsel, Jim Matthew. Where are you at, Jim? I also want to recognize tonight George Skinner. During our meetings, he's our sergeant of arms. George, where are you at? Parliamentarian. He helps keep you straight during our meetings. Where you at, Pete? Yeah. Yeah. I also want to thank uh, Sheila Mann and all her volunteers. Sheila's the chairwoman for the Reagan Day dinner, how this was all put together. So, Sheila, stand up. Have your group stand up. We also want to thank Bill Bunning, who's also our finance chairman. And I want to thank you stand up, Bill, with all your group, your volunteers. They help put all this together and do all the raising of the money. Y'all stand up. Yeah. Stand up, buddy. You don't realize how much work goes into one of these until you run one, actually. As you thought, Bill, in the past, it was an easy thing until this year. I'm glad it's only once a year. Um, I also want to thank my wife, Colleen, and my family. Thank you all for supporting me and allowing me to spend 2,000 minutes a month on my cell phone. So that's what I do a lot. All right. Would uh, Danielle Griffin come up and lead us in a word of prayer? I'd like to start with the preamble to the Constitution of the United States. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Father, it says in 2, Corinthians, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people humble themselves and pray, I will heal their land. We the people do stand humbly before you tonight to seek your face. If we the people are not united, it says in the word of God, a house divided against itself cannot stand. We need to get our party united on every front. Then we will have victory. Our country is in a very unstable situation right now, so we look to you, Father, for guidance and direction in the next elections. We the people need to remember the price of our forefathers, what they paid in order to give a great constitution. This is why we have lived and been free. Thank you. 
for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We stand here together tonight and rem in remembrance of all our soldiers who have fought hard to keep us free. We also remember the families who have lost loved ones, that they would be comforted. We, the people, must step up, stay united, and keep our country free together. We thank you, Heavenly Father, creator of the universe, for guiding our steps. And apart from you, we can do nothing. Bless this meal and the time that we spend together tonight. Let it truly be fruitful. I end with a quote from Benjamin Franklin. At the conclusion of the Constitutional Convention, Benjamin Franklin was asked, what have you wrought? He answered, a republic, if you can keep it. Amen. We pray in the name of Jesus and we say amen to this. City. We'll do this in the Pledge of Allegiance to Jean. Please join me in saying the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I didn't sit down for a while. <laughs> okay. Four beliefs with the wind. You can go ahead. I like that. It's okay. Our rights, we need to reform, and our responsibility. That's what we need to act on. I believe that the country is starting to see the uncommon socialist storm, and we need to be ready for it. Here is a list of what your PASCO Republican Party would, wants you to do. Number one, voter registration. With the intervention of groups like ACORN, Voter registration has changed forever. There is no longer a off election year, and we must begin now to register voters. I have asked all club presidents to begin an aggressive voter registration campaign because they are out there and they are working extremely hard to gain this ground.